I'm Dr. David Tahernia, and we're going to talk about new technology in spinal surgery. One of the newest technological advances is a cervical disc replacement. The disc is the shock absorber that sits between two bones in any vertebral segment. Most of the cervical spinal surgery that we do requires incisions through the front of the neck because the pathology, the pinching of the nerves or the pinching of the spinal cord is in the front of the neck. That does necessitate the removal of most, if not all, of the disc to actually get to the pathology, and that leaves a void. Up until now, we were basically putting spacers made of plastic or bone into the disc space and fusing the bones together. Uh, this particular device is part of a, a clinical trial that we're involved in. It is not available to the uh, regular public, but we are certainly providing uh, research to see if this particular technology is going to be effective for our patients in the future. And we have clinical data that dates back from seven to 10 years now, and the results are fantastic. The other exciting development is the ability to replace the joints in the lumbar spine. With the lumbar spine, uh, we are actively involved in a clinical trial assessing the efficacy of facet joint replacements. The facet joint is this structure right here and this structure right here. With the facet joint replacement, you actually remove the diseased bone and you replace it with this particular device. And this device is designed to maintain motion. So as you can see, the two pieces of metal moving next to each other, that allows that particular segment to maintain its motion. Up until now, if we had to remove facet joints as part of our surgery, it would obligate a lumbar fusion. A lumbar fusion works very well short term, but may have long term detrimental effects to levels above and below where the fusion occurs. With this particular device, again, you are maintaining motion, and not only will the range of motion lumbar spine be improved relative to a fusion, but it may prevent the level above and the level below from breaking down during one's lifetime and hopefully preventing any additional surgeries in the future.